to enjoy the game. That's right. It was meant to be one of the players, but it's taken. I don't. To be fair, I don't blame them. No, I don't. No, no, no. Well, warm welcome back to the Victory Stadium in Portsmouth. Uh, apologies, we're a little bit late back. The uh, the teams were late coming out. Sorry for keeping you waiting, but uh, a big thank you for tuning in wherever you are around the, the world. Hopefully, you can uh, hear us loud and clear. Do appreciate every single person that's watching, uh, listening at the end of the day. Myself and Tony doing this for free. We just want to bring the game live. You can't be here with us. So we want to bring the game to you. So a big thank you for tuning in wherever you are around the world. Thank you very much. Hopefully enjoying uh, the game if you're of UF persuasion. But uh, Jake Smith, who's my co-commentator, if you have been filled persuasion, it is a massive 45 minutes for your side. Mm. Yeah, really big 45 minutes. You know, we spoke in the first half about how Binnenfield have had, you know, the lion's share of possession. They've had greater opportunities. You know, they've, they've shown, you know, the strength and the class of a team that are a division above the United Services. But, you know, you'd feel unlucky. You'd feel aggrieved from, you know, from that perspective that they don't at least have a goal to show for their efforts. But, you know, from the perspective of United Services now, who find themselves one goal up, 45 minutes away from Wembley, this could be a seventh giant killing of a season in this competition. It is heading that way at the moment, and they've. You can hear the applause. I can't hear you, Joe, no. because of the substitutes <laughs> away to my right. This is they've behind done a fantastic closed job. doors, but yeah. it sounds like there's 3,000 in here. Yeah. It's incredible for the, the substitutes and committee away to my right. Um, for US Portsmouth play, that goal from James Franklin, it, it's been against the run of play. It really has been all Binfield yeah. in this first half, but. It's US that have the lead. Yeah, a huge goal, and you know, we again we spoke about in that first 45 minutes about how you need to capitalise on those you know, momentary, momentarily, you know, lapses in concentration from a side like Binfield who are of a higher division. They need to ensure that doesn't happen too many, you know, too often. But they have allowed those gaps to be created within that back four, and they have been exploited. And United Services have taken that one chance better than Binfield have. They've been ruining their opportunities. They squandered. The good news is that as you could just see the assistant referee checking the nets and also as well, Flackwell Heath will be very pleased to know the goalposts have been checked and they are the correct height as well. I personally went and checked them. We're off and underway in this second half live on TV TV with myself, Lee Roberts and Jake Smith. 45 minutes separates these sides from Wembley. No changes for either side at half time, and all of a sudden Franklin chasing down Gavin. I'll run through the uh, lineups um, when we get a little break in play at the moment. That's not happening. Played 45 minutes. US Portsmouth 1. Binfield 0. Thrown in gone up rather than out as Franklin using his body it bounces Franklin hits the defender comes out Glenn's not going to get there he's opposite number McClurg this is the joint manager is as it comes out wide again Hancock down the wing little pass into Maloney Maloney's going to spread it into more that was perfect unfortunately it was cut out from the US point of view and now US force inside the centre circle Todd Todd will turn, just a little pass, drops it off, Chandler, Todd peels off with Binfield in white, the white shirts, white shirts, white socks on the ball and uh, a US Portsmouth player on the deck, US Portsmouth, blue and red shirts, blue shorts, blue socks, they're away, left to right, Binfield as I said, white shirts, white shorts, white socks, right to left, 46 played 44 left dropped down the wing in towards Chandler trying to see out leg bars in the back that's an easy free kick good good yep. defending that time by leg yeah again that, that, that's the kind of management that Binfield will be looking forward to now that's that's the kind of 
experience they will be looking to kind of show on this game against the United Services to win the kind of free kicks in that position when you're when you're chasing a lead when you find yourself a goal behind you need to win those cheap free kicks there's no malicious in it but you know it was preventing the United Services from going forward and doubling their lead good play good play by Binfield warning signs illuminated for Harris crosses in crosses out good play there by Binfield started brightly Down the line it goes, chases on. Will Moore get there? Yes, he will. He's got Chandler for company. Chandler standing up, but the cross is in. Comes back post. Shot is in and cleared away by US Portsmouth. Franklin, the goal scorer, now turning defender. Just at this left hand side, will just play it down the wing. David Hancock puts it in field into Wilmot. Binfield, the longer it goes on, and the more desperate their search for a goal will become, but they've started very, very brightly in this second half. Header on into the midfield area, a bit of miscommunication, but Chandler and nobody really pressing forward. 48 played, still 1 0 to US Portsmouth. Wilman with the ball down the line and uh, US Portsmouth defending staunchly again but not that time by Jeffs slice clearance Jeffs tries to come back and the keeper will just dive there on the ball Tom Price and uh, Price caught the slice there Jake it was uh, more of a custard slice there really from uh, Jeffs but it, it did come off for him yeah it did and you know it, it's a fortunate one from Jeffs but, but you know they've got away with that but you know, it, so far from the, the swing of the game from what we've seen United Services have been riding their luck but that's what they'll take they won't be complaining one bit space as uh, the referee's going to bring the thing and one thing I do want to clear up is the cheering you can actually hear is from the substitutes of US Portsmouth it's just committee members and media that are here it is behind closed doors and the fact that we're in the Navy base means unless you have ID you ain't getting in it's simple as that Seedon has space down this left hand side Seedon in towards Hazel Hazel with the ball back into Chris Grace it's going to be a collision here is there no it uh, bounces kindly off of Kane who uh, seemed to pull something maybe his back or something it just seemed to come a long way Kane and uh, didn't get much reward and it is going to be a throw in for the hosts US Portsmouth Josh Hazel it's going to be a, a substitute here for US Portsmouth just waiting to see who's coming on believe that it's uh, Sally Bakewell as uh, the Binfield manager there not happy with, with something I didn't quite see what happened it's thrown in by Chandler Sonny Bakewell is imminent for US Portsmouth down the line it goes and a uh, little shirt ball good tackle though Ferdinand goes through the uh, defender to bring the ball away little uh, look up by Jeffs Todd Todd tries to feed in Franklin Franklin is in on goal here Franklin shoots here James Franklin hits it just wide, just wide. How has that not gone in? It looked for the world that Franklin was going to double the lead, Jake. Wow. That is the golden chance. We saw it last week yep. when US hit the bar. Is that the chance to kill the game? Binfield, massive let off. Huge let off. So, so close for United Services from doubling their lead. And James Franklin again with a fantastic opportunity to, to, to get the goal. And, it was a really well worked move he done very well to flick the ball over over defender he was persistent he carried on chasing that ball he wouldn't give it up he left like you said earlier Lee he left his heart and his soul on the line there and pff, jumping higher above the goalkeeper to knock it above him really unfortunate but it's not 2-0 here yeah Binfield uh, living on the edge Andy Todd eventually known as Sweeney cut above the rest as the uh, cross comes in Keeper letting that one just gather into his arms. Chris Grace will release the ball gracefully, quickly. Callum Glenn takes a touch off of Glenn. It's going to be a throw into US Portsmouth. 52 and a half gone. Substitutions coming up here. So, uh, substitution, and unfortunately, 
Mr. Blake, there we go. Four coming off. That's uh, Joel Fallentin. So Fallentin off. Jack Broom on. And uh, Broom will be looking to sweep up here as he comes on, Jake. Decent player for Binfield. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't know too much about him. But, you know, the substitute now with 40 minutes left still in this game. Sorry, it's, uh, st yeah. it's really hard to get a word in because yeah, if really you is. look up, really just is. as US Force was on the attack, <laughs> not getting a chance to, to write the subs down. It was One of those um, games is so end-to-end, -end, isn't it? Yeah. Can't take your eyes off it. No. The 53, Broom is on. Uh, no change, I believe. Yeah, for US Force, oh. just a snapshot comes in. Another half chance. Been 50 50 really in this second half, isn't it? It was yeah. more 70 30 for Binfield in, in the first half, yeah. but 50 50 second half. And the longer it goes on, the yeah. more desperate Binfield become. I think defensively, Binfield have been all over the place, you know, at the back, haven't they? They've allowed United Services to come forward at every given opportunity and, and get in front of goal uh, and, and crucially get that goal effort on, on, you know, on target. And, all right, that one wasn't, but it's a, it's a great opportunity. And United Services really finding their footing in this in this game. And you wouldn't look at this team and think that they were of the division below. No. You really wouldn't. Well, we said in a local paper this week that US Portsmouth for a step five team in all but name. They are likely to be a step five for the restructuring next season. Jeffs gets the ball out, and it's going to be a throw in, quick throw in taken out into McClurg. Little passing going on down the line. McClurg has got there. Danger for US Portsmouth. McClurg tackle comes in. Chance! He missed it! He has missed it! A golden chance that time. Wembley was lighting up, but the door slams shut, and it's still 1 0 to the US Portsmouth. Time and time again, we've been saying in this game, Lee, that Binfield have had plenty of opportunities in front of goal efforts that they should be tucking into the back of the net and that's another one that's probably the third or fourth clear cut opportunity they've had that they should have scored from is it nerves Binfield just aren't at the moment able to take their chances I US holding on I think Lady Luck's involved if I'm being honest you know United Services this half in particular they've come out and looked the stronger for two sides but you know overall in this competition they've got to this stage by defeating so many teams of you know steps above them and it doesn't look like that's going to stop tonight Todd thought about putting his foot in but the defender got his head in where it hurts down the line with chase on for Chandler can Chandler get there leg can clears it it's been kept in did well into Broome and now McClurg passing out there's going to be a change here for US Portsmouth and it is going to be Sonny Brickwell who's going to be coming on ball breaks kindly for Binfield middle of the territory four Binfield, 55, it's broken down, and again, both teams, he's onside, Seedon, Seedon has got Todd in the middle, Todd calling for it, Todd is there, Franklin's there, Seedon goes, Seedon hits the post, as Franklin gets it, he hit the beans on toast, ball into Todd, Todd, saved by the keeper, what a save, hit the wood one, hits the keeper, stops, over the bar, US Portsmouth cannot at the moment put this game to bed, Jake. They can't at the moment, but the warning sign for them, they continue to knock on the door to get that second goal. Callum Glenn coming off, listen to that from the subs. They love him, they to absolutely man. worship him. They love him, <laughs> amazing performance from Callum Glenn, move a lad from Baffins. And an absolute class act as a player and as a man is coming off today. Yeah. Round of applause from the subs. Put a shift in. And uh, Binfield just about did a job on him, didn't they? Kept him quiet, but he still had a good game. Yeah, fantastic performance and, you know, well-deserved round of applause. He left absolutely everything out my pitch there. And hopefully we might cool. see a nice opportunity here. Corner! Maybe not. For you, it's Portsmouth. Sergeant. And uh, I think that might have been Birmingham getting in each other's way. A lot of credit to Dex Seedon to create that opportunity he just had um, you know, a moment ago before the corner came in. It was a real nice footwork to get past the defender. I think he could have drawn a foul and, and won a penalty, but he's done very well to stay on his feet and get the ball into well, get the ball into a mixer after hitting the post. And yeah, the warning signs continue to be there for United Services and you can't help but feel that another gaze uh, another goal is on the way. Well, according to Bob, it was five that went off, but it was definitely Clem Glenn. I know my eyesight's bad, but it was definitely Clem Glenn, is it? No, it was. It's Tom Kane. It's Tom well, Kane has come off, not Callum Glenn. Regardless, he's, I he's had a fantastic... I thought it was eight. He's had a fantastic shift today, nonetheless, well, Whoever Tom it was. Kane. <laughs> 
So just to confirm, it was definitely Tom Kane that come off, not Callum Glenn. So apologies for that. Glenn's still out with that handball. <laughs> that handball, uh, Jeff's. And uh, Jeff's handled the ball, felt he got a nudge in the back. Could have gone either way, to be honest with you. Uh, both sides a little bit getting on the uh, back of the, the referee. Uh, Dan Owen says, is this a temerary? Yes, it is. <laughs> Aidan Boyle says, Spinnaker Tower tickets must be sold out for this one. Possibly. It's uh, now with Groom with the opportunity to load the ball into the box. 58 as the ball overhits. And uh, for you as Portsmouth, that's a lifeline. Binfield really at the moment holding on, Jake. But to be honest, it's not it's not the scenario that Binfield would be hoping to be in at this stage, holding on to, to only be a goal down, you know, with with weight of expectation on their shoulders, you know, for both of these sides, okay, you know, this is both of their first semi finals in this Look competition. At that. That's what sums up non league. Binfield <laughs> player down and yet it's a US Portsmouth player that's helping them. We're in the semi-final, and look at that. <laughs> <laughs> nice round I think of that's applause. Birmingham. That's brilliant. It's the kind of character you want in your team, isn't it? Yeah, that's um, Harry Birmingham, and I will talk about it because it's been in the in the in the, nas- in the local press. Harry Birmingham's opened up about his struggles with, with mental health during lockdown. Very brave for him to do that, Jake, and it's great to see him playing a big part in this today. Football does play a huge part in people's mental health. Oh, hugely. And, you know, it's such a time where we are now with the pandemic and these lockdowns and restrictions. A lot of people missing so much from their lives and, and for plenty of people out in this country and certainly in the city of Portsmouth, you know, football is at the absolute heart of what they do at the weekend and, and even during the week as well. So a lot of fans and players and, and officials and everyone connected to football clubs in this city, around the city and local postcodes have been missing football so desperately. So, yeah, really, really, um, really good to see that Harry Berman has come out and spoke about it because it's not an easy thing to do. Clash in the middle and uh, good play there as Franklin pings the ball down the left. Todd makes the middle and it's over the hit. Uh, it just would not fall for Hazel. Hazel just could not get the ball in. Uh, we almost reached the hour mark here, 60 minutes, and US Portsmouth still holding on. 1 0. They lead. Semi final at the FA Fars. US Portsmouth. United Services Portsmouth 1. Binfield 0. That goal from James Franklin in the first half. Big thank you for everyone that's um, commenting tweeting watching big thank you Jeff goes down and that is going to be a free kick to US Portsmouth and that ball is not going to be coming back anytime soon Jake in fact it's a Binfield player that gets it down and for those that are used to league football it's a bit of a shock because in non-league when you one nil up the ball gets two smiles and the fact we've got <laughs> a running track as well yeah <laughs> these are and the kind of tactics and the way that you know Glenn Turnbull and United Services want to manage this game, they're a goal up. They're not expected to be a goal up, and they will face more pressure from this Binfield side. But you know, these kind of moments, that's what they need to do. And bin, they look like they're on attack again. Chance here, US Portsmouth going to be a corner to yep. the touch of the Binfield player. Yep. Did very well there. The US Portsmouth player knew what he was doing yeah. and experienced. Yeah, yeah, very experienced. And we you know we spoke at half time off there about the experience within this team. A lot of these players have played together, the likes of. You know, Harry Birmingham, Tom Kane, Jeffs and, and, and Dex Eden in particular and James Franklin, you know, the hero of the competition so far this season a really well drilled team you know, they may be up against it in terms of, you know, league position against the opposition this season in this competition but they don't look out of place at all Corner's going to be floated in, keeper stays it's headed there, it was Cedar who got to the ball first beat the Binfield defender but uh, with 61 on the clock it has gone for a goal kick and uh, as I've been saying really um, Jake throughout this game the longer it goes on Binfield have got to gamble and that's going to yeah. open up space for, for US yeah uh, and, and you could say that they've, they've gambled already so far but not to the extent that you know you mentioned the longer this game draws on I think we've only got what 25 minutes of the game remaining they need to take more opportunities they need to take more risks going forward and that will leave gaps at the back for United Services to exploit too much space and there's an opportunity Ferdinand Ferdinand has been closed down good play there it was Birmingham had to close him down it was Spaghetti Junction in there but Birmingham closed it down as Todd can't quite get the ball 
falls out in towards Hancock. He's given the ball away. Poor from Binfield. Todd calling for on his near side. Still going in towards Franklin. Franklin, will he keep it in? He's going to do well to keep it in. As has, but it's gone out for a throw in. And Todd, as we said last week, as he's got older, the, the legs have gone, but the skill's still there. And in the middle, he was calling for it there, Jake. Just would not fall for him. But US starting to get that little chance. Yeah, and that's the kind of effort and commitment you want from, you know, United Services perspective when you've got that one goal lead, a slender advantage, you know, you're just moments away from, you know, securing a trip to Wembley, which would be a hugely historic moment in this club's history. And, you know, when you are so close, you want to put your heart and body on the line. They have done that for the entire game so far. I've been really impressed with their, their mentality so far. Good ball, good ball down the line. Sean Moore, again, the warning shanks flashing. Sean Moore up against Birmingham. He's trying to hold firm, Birmingham. Got to hold firm. Cross deflected. And it's still kept in. Sean Moore. Danger's not gone. Back out into Maloney. Maloney will curl it in. And that's sliced again. There was no shout there. And that's the first time that we've seen that lack of communication. That yeah. really was step six there. We, we've seen that. It was yeah. the first time in this game that was real lack of communication. Keeper's got to be shouting there. He has got to be shouting there. He's got to, you know... <laughs> really command and take control of his position as a goalkeeper and, and really bark the orders to, ha- to, to Jess Fair to leave the ball to him but you know, that, like you say that is the only the only time in this game that that's happened so hopefully it doesn't come back to bite them corners floated in back post there is players waiting there it's still not gone back into the danger chance over his own goal there by Jess it's more. building, Jake. Yeah. It does feel like it's coming for Binfield. It does, but it's more last-ditch defending again from, from Tom Jess of United Services who are doing absolutely everything they can to ensure that they, they, they keep this clean sheet and they, you know, they keep hold of their advantage in this game. And they really are putting everything on the line to try and prevent Binfield from, from opening their own scoring. But the chances are coming. Yep, Binfield on top. The ball on top, the ball in the penalty area. Back towards the post it goes could have been cleared there has been cleared and uh, there's suddenly all of a sudden a break can leg get there got to get there has got there but it's broken again Jeffs collision and Binfield bring the ball away edge of the penalty area holding up US Ports play got there and that's a great free kick to um to get I just want to give a big shout out to um Craig from We Toast Media uh Craig thank you very much for your comment mate and uh, as I say, it's not quite the, the virtual FA Cup, my friend, but this is pretty real at the moment. And for US Portsmouth, Jake, it's feeling pretty real at the moment. We've played 65 now. 25 minutes left for, for this team to hold out strong, keep resilient and, and, and really keep level-headed in their efforts to try and prevent Binfield from getting back into this game. They're doing a fantastic job of it so far. And Josh Howe imminent for Binfield as the uh, the ball headed on ball bounces inside the centre circle as Maloney starts the move shifted off into Broome a long ball forward frustration shouting to throw his leg not happy down the middle it goes straight into the centre of the defence and missed space this time Elliot Leg now on the run 65 and a half gone Leg plays out left goes past one Leg the ball breaks down and uh, communication starting to go now Binfield all over US Portsmouth space for Broome to cross ball back in deflected behind and Binfield on top the only thing they haven't done is put the ball but in the back of the net although really on top at the moment Binfield it is still 1-0 to US Portsmouth 66 floated in Todd will just head it away brings it down James McClurg passes wide McClurg little pass in McClurg ball edge of the area he's got to be careful here shot comes in in towards the nine there Ferdinand and uh, US Portsmouth living dangerously here Jake living dangerously and you know really on the back foot of a lot of Binfield opportunities, plenty of corners being floated in, and a real test to this, you know, United Services defence and back line. But again, you know, we say it time and time again, they've done so far so good in in keeping Binfield at bay and really putting everything on the line and leaving nothing behind in that dressing room to to, to keep this game at one goal to nil. 
ball edge in the penalty area Binfield there's going to be a play on the overlap here it's leg ball again sliced is it going to be kept in yes it is and now Todd has got to bring this down it's just clear not the best clearance in the world and Binfield bringing it on with Moore is not going to keep it in it's gone out of play So it was um, Maloney that went off for Binfield a moment ago on there, 67 minutes. Ball headed away again. A little uh, barge in the back by the substitute, How? US Portsmouth though able to bring the ball away and then giving it away, but Binfield giving it away. Tapper comes in by Hancock. Sergeant wins the ball. Franklin, players wide, players wide, he's offside. But uh, uh, it was not full for Chandler. The flag would have gone up. Long ball forward. In towards John Moore. That's going to be nothing doing. Apart from a free kick to US Portsmouth. Assisted on the far side. Wasn't given it. But Jacob Miles in the middle was. And Binfield go and collect the ball. Jake. 21 and a half left. Can't stop looking at that clock can we? So so close now. Edging closer to uh, United Services. Reaching that. You know, that big stage at Wembley and... Squeaky bum time, my friend. It really, really is. And they they have been under the cosh in the last five minutes. Spinfield have had their spell of pressure now, but this free kick on that far side, it'll be taken by Tom Price from the United Services goal and it'll relieve a bit of pressure by trying to keep this ball now in the Binfield half at least for the next five minutes or so to try and, to, to try and calm the nerves a little bit. Ball forward, Ferdinand, he's got the pace, he's got a player wide, tackle comes in, Ferdinand no, Ferdinand will have the opportunity, hits the post, hits the post, and that is the sliding tackle, and that is the best chance, if you were talking about living on the edge, how on earth Ferdinand has not slid that in, still 1-0 to US Portsmouth, how? What did we speak about about 15 minutes ago? Lady, Lady luck, luck, my luck. friend. This is what will carry United Services through to the final, if they can see it out. <laughs> They've been top class in their efforts to try and stick to their game plan. There's no doubt about that. You give full credit to Glenn Turnbull of this United Services side. But luck is playing a huge part because Binfield really should have scored at least two or three. They've hit the post. They've missed a handful of chances, you know, square on goal. US Portsmouth heading up and out again Binfield first to the ball Binfield chucking players forward they've got to score or else the dream dies 20 minutes for US Portsmouth to hang on and hang on it is again all Binfield in the second half US have had a couple of breaks but it is all Binfield and the Moles have got to dig deep it's the ball in header it got off the post I do not believe this what am I seeing Jake Moore's hit the post what is going on? This is unbelievable, mate. This I cannot believe yeah. my eyes. He's at the post again. That's three times a bit the woodwork. Really is not Binfield's day today, is it? Really, really not. They've hit the post twice in the last three or four minutes. The first half, I think they hit the post as well. Just incredible how United Services is uh, are still into this game. It is really one-way traffic at the moment. It is at the moment. And, 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 and they've had chances they've, though, they've, but they've had plenty of chances. They've, they've, crazy. They've done really, really well. And um, in terms of being clinical in front of goal, they deserve to be a goal ahead. But oh! on the grand scheme of things, when you take a step back and you look at the overall game, how Binfield are not ahead baffles me. But that, that, that's football. That's, that's what we love about it. That's what we absolutely love US about Portsmouth football. Portsmouth should not be here. They're no. a step six side. They should not be here. The logical football, but there's they're bit, one nil up. This is crazy. There's a certain word which I can't say, but it, it ends with housery, and this is total that. Oh sh! Yeah. We play on. <laughs> Seventy-two. Yeah, I, I would not use that word uh, live on air. <laughs> Off air, yes. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I know about exactly that. what you mean, Jake, but I would never be unprofessional to use that. Slid in and played wide. Harris with the opportunity. US Portsmouth tried to defend again. Clanning Callum Glenn steps in, but the ball breaks and US Portsmouth slow to get out. It's Broom hits the backside there of Franklin, the goal scorer. Seedon could have gone down, maybe should have in his eyes, but plays on. Seedon 
He was going to be played through by Harry Sargent. Seedon being held. That's going to be a booking. That's a booking. A very similar, very, very similar to um, Jeff's in the first half, Jake. Great, great yellow card mm. for the Binfield player. One of the best yellow cards you will see. Yeah. US Portsmouth fans are probably slagging me off right now for saying that. If I was in this position, I'd have done the same. I'd have pulled him off. Of course, no, I, would, I would have pulled him down. If it was United Services player in that position, as you said in the first half, they'd do exactly the same. That is the kind. That is that's good. That's the kind of. That's the kind of challenge you've got to make as a defender in that point. You know, it's, it's not right. It's not legal, and you know, in terms of the laws of the game, and he's absolutely hacked him down. But if he hadn't have done that, United Services are through, and they've got a good opportunity, three on one, really, to, to double their lead and really put this game to bed. So, as much as it's not great to see, you don't want to see you know, players hacking each other down like that and completely nowhere near the ball, but. If you're supporting any any team in any division in any competition, Dex Seedon's come off. You that take the yellow card. Back, Jake. Yeah, and and he's had a fantastic game as well, hasn't he? he you know, not got on the score sheet, but I think he's done very well. He's kept plugging away and deservedly one of the top names today. In towards Todd, ball bounces, cleared away. Jeffers couldn't get on the end of it, and they're going to be defending here by Birmingham. Heads it wide. Fantastic Great challenge. Great by Callum Glenn. Glenn now will look up. Will play the ball over the top. Keeper's going to try and get this. And uh, takes a massive whack there to keep or whack in the side. He felt that one. And uh, that was definitely a whack in the side there by the US Portsmouth player. Header on there by Binfield. There's more. 73 on the clock. Crosses in. Keeper, will he get there? He just scoops it away. Took out his own defender. A US Portsmouth will hold it. Todd goes down. Nothing doing. Didn't look like a foul. It wasn't given. McClurg passes infield. Passes back in towards leg. Over hit that was. And the keeper will take every second he can. Just over 15 minutes to go. And Jake, 15 to go in this game. Crazy, crazy times. United Services just need to, you know, from, from, from their point of view, you probably just have a shout there. They need to keep giving 100% and really kind of stand firm in their defensive, you know, their, their defensive setup. They have done so far in this game. They've rode their luck a little bit at periods, but going forward, they look a really strong outfit. And I think a second goal now would have really killed the game off. Because it, look, it looks like the Binfield heads have absolutely dropped. Yeah. And just that's, a, that's a no fault of their own because they've kept plugging away themselves and they've had the only fantastic thing they done is put the ball in the back exactly, of the net. Yeah. They've done everything but score. And as a manager, you, you can't really ask for much more than that, really, from, from your players. They deserve a goal. They deserve two or three goals. But look, we keep saying it. Luck is on United Services' side. 15 to go. It's US Portsmouth. Playing the ball out in towards the substitute, Jordan Pyle. Down the line it goes. Pyle went down off the ball as Gavin will just hoof the ball forward. It's just going to be seen out here, is it, by Bakewell? It is. <laughs> uh, big, big shout out to uh, the legend from Haven, Trevor Brock. Uh, says, enjoying the commentary league. Come on, USP. Thanks, Brocky. It does mean a lot, mate. Thank you so much. Uh, it's 14 and a half to go. US Portsmouth has said the tackle comes in from Glenn but he's lost out and again Binfield flooding forward Birmingham hoofs the ball forward and there's some tired legs out there now from US Portsmouth 14 to go live on TSTV Sport TBTV Sport <laughs> it's that exciting I've forgotten who we are in 15 minutes, Jake, if it stays like this, US Portsmouth are going to lose their minds. But it's a big if because it's all Binfield at the it's moment. It's going to be absolutely crazy scenes at the full time whistle. Still a long way to go, though, mate. Still plenty of time. You know, we've, we've been around football for a long time, you and I, and, and you know, fans watching back home. 15 minutes is a long time Ooh. in football. Long, long time. Todd almost playing it through. Birmingham let the ball bounce. And that is the free kick to Binfield. Uh, Jake, camera can't see you, but. I thought that was the other way. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not You're sure cringing. About that I'm one, thinking that the US have got away with one there. Yeah. I th I think, I it think looked at worst 50 50. 
I think 50-50 would be fair because they were both tugging at each other's shirts. None of them, well, they both had eyes on the ball, but they also both wanted to hack each other down. So to, to give it United Services way, I think, is a little bit harsh. But on the flip side of that, I think to give it the other way is also harsh because e- that would have led to a red card, surely. Easy question for you. Will, Jim, will Glenn Turnbull care? Absolutely not. There we go. <laughs> 77 on the clock. Glenn wins the ball. That's Jordan Pyle shows him Franklin. Oh, oh Franklin there. The ball touch. stripped. Just heavy touch. Yeah. Heavy touch. Slight, very fine margins, but a fantastic ball through to him in the first place. A real, real unlucky for United Services there. Just a slight heavy touch. But James Franklin, once again, getting into that position. He really has been, well, he's, in my opinion, he's been man of the match for United Services today. Long ball forward. And uh, Birmingham's lost out. It's Ferdinand. Ferdinand looks up. The danger man. Will it, what can he do? Drives it across that handball. That's a penalty. That is a penalty all day long for me. You, you're not sure, Benville. That's handball. He's not giving it either. He's not giving it either, Jacob Miles. What is going on here? It looks like the Karma Sutra position number 69, Jake. <laughs> How on earth? A, was that not a penalty? And I know we're not. I'll ask you two questions. A, how was that not a penalty? And B, how's he not got done for indecent exposure? <laughs> uh, B, I'm not too sure. A, uh, I'll sit on the fence. I don't know. It, I think, yeah, it, it is hit his hand. Um, there's no denying that, but I don't know. Not, not that US Portsmouth will give a jolt either way. Again, no, they won't care one bit. Not that anybody that was born in Portsmouth will give a jolt either way. Standing up and down the line into Todd. 11 and a half for US to hold on. Can they score the second though? Crossing towards Franklin. Header away. We'll try and reach Chandler. Ball cleared, but there's a shout with man on. Will Glenn get there? No, he won't. Slight tackle in there. He dove in there, but coming back. It's third now. Plays it wide. Space. Starting to open up for Bimfield. Tackle comes in. That's what a, a brilliant challenge. Tackle. That is. What a challenge. What, what a challenge. challenge. Fantastic challenge that is. People saying it wasn't a penalty. You you play doubles advocate. Yes yeah. or no, Jake? You got the final word. Was it a penalty? Yes or no? No. No. I'm Look, supposed I'm to be impartial. Yeah, but it no, wasn't I, a penalty I, in a million. I'm years. so on the fence of it because I, I do think it's hit his hand, but at the same in the same vein, and it's coming so quickly. He's dived in on the floor to try and block the effort, and you can't really do much to move your arm away from that position. It, you could say it's unnatural. I'm sure VAR would would give it as a penalty. Don't but use that word. Unnatural oh position. God. There's no such thing. No, uh, no, no, exactly. But that's what I mean. In, in that scenario, when he's diving in, he's trying to block the you know the attempt. You can't control your arms. You can't do anything about it. So that's why I think it would have been harsh to give a penalty. But in the same vein, you can also see why Binfield might argue that it was. Bursting forward, Sergeant. In towards, Fr- in towards Franklin, Franklin twisting, turning, good play, Franklin still going, still going, see you later as he passes the ball off, left hand side, just under 10 to go, Todd trying to get there, Todd hasn't got there, and it's allowed Binfield just to bring the ball away, anywhere will do. Binfield, in on this, round the keeper, third net, scored! Ferdinand scored, it's been coming, and US Portsmouth have conceded, the Binfield bench goes mad, on the balance of play, it's been coming, and we are level, Jake, can't say that that's not deserved, Ferdinand the danger man, nothing the price could do, good goal. Yeah, it was a good goal, unfortunate for United Services, they've held, they've held out for so long. Both benches now, both sides of the, you know, both Binfield and United Services really showing their voices at the moment. But it, ha- it has been coming. You know, Binfield has showed their, their class from a, t- you know, a higher division. United Services have held on for so long. But there's still a long way to go in this game. Callum Glenn with the ball. Both teams have had chances, Jake, but... Really on the balance of play, Binfield didn't certainly deserve any equaliser. And when this thing stands, we're going to penalties. Still just under 10 to go, though. Yep. Is there no extra time today, Lee? Nine. Nine to go, Jack. Straight, straight to penalties, straight to Jack. Penalties. No extra time. Straight to penalties. Nervy as you like. <laughs> yeah, very nervy, but Binfield, the heads are up. Oh, that's a swipe. Uh, Moore had his uh, legs taken away 
and uh, not happy there that was certainly a big swipe he went for the ball and got uh, absolutely nowhere near it Binfield certainly heads up now US Portsmouth have been under the cost and they're starting to drop deep now it's Binfield with the cross chance back post into the side netting it goes and uh, again Jake very very nervy now what do you do if you're US Portsmouth do, do you sit back because we know that Binfield have been on top in this first, second half I think if you sit back you're inviting more pressure and that's, that's not what United Services want whilst I also don't think they should you know, take too many risks going forward to try and you know, leave gaps at the back because they don't want to end up conceding a game but at the same vein you also don't want to see United Services completely hold Fortress down in their own in their own half and in their own territory and keep allowing Binfield to go forward and, and really put you know par the pressure on so oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um it's left one on him. ball from the committee might feel that wasn't a free kick I will say that Andy Todd was not foot. particularly looking at the ball for a kick off long ball over the top and uh, Moore is going to get there Moore takes a deflection gone for a corner just under six to go it's 1-1 one, one. Binfield equalising Liam Ferdinand and uh, this is going to be another opportunity here US Portsmouth 1 Binfield 1 live commentary and coverage here corner is going to be floated in the big man up that's the cross that's a good cross header US Portsmouth not able to get to the ball and that's a free kick US Portsmouth player down just over six to go US Portsmouth player down um, both teams do have experience Jake of winning penalty shootouts but neither would have had Wembley at stake no so much at stake from a penalty shootout perspective now still five minutes of this game for any team to just you know for anyone to step up and be the hero feels like next goal wins well next goal I think does win it to be honest but in the nerves of a penalty or shootout I know you say both teams have got experience in winning them but God, Wembley at stake for both sides neither of them have been to Wembley to my knowledge <laughs> in no, their history haven't. this is the furthest that either side has so, been so much at stake for both sides and it really is anyone's taken from the, you know, from the spot five and a half left you can see just down on the uh, touchline, Glenn Turnbull, his coaching staff, trying to uh, just put their heads together and come up with a plan. Andy Todd holding off the defender, doing well, tries to chip the ball in, heavy touch, and the ball hitting uh, somewhere you don't want to be hit. Glenn, ball uh, headed away there. Player back up, thankfully. He's offside there, Todd, and that uh, goes down also holding something you don't want to hold. Quick free kick taken. Ferdinand headed on by the US Portsmouth defence. Brought down there by McClurg. Five to go as the ball cleared. Right hand side headed away there by the substitute Bakewell. Very, very nervy times here. Glenn Turnbull. Turnbull watching his side. 1 1 as uh, the ball in the defence touch cleared up towards Todd using his strength and uh, now has the opportunity plays the ball wide takes the touch US Portsmouth down the line and uh, Franklin there tussling good uh, strength there by the defender very good strength came off the better there Elliot Leg. four to go as Grace will clear it Jordan Pyle plays the ball wide US Portsmouth been under the cosh in this second half for most of the game actually but Binfield it is 1-1 Glenn steps in gets the ball back played it back towards the goalkeeper Price poor clearance that time by Price and it's danger it's danger as it goes and cleared away could have gone anywhere head of flicks on and uh, Andy Todd trying to get there not able to cleared away inside the centre circle Sergeant and uh, Franklin is going to get to the ball first is he again strength Franklin stepping in winning the ball good tackle and that's going to be a throw in to Binfield three and a half to go 
you can hear Liam Galvin trying to galvanise his side. Down the line the ball goes. Callum Glenn. Head diving head of away there by Galvin. Three minutes to go, Jake. It's the time for someone to step up and be a hero now. Really, really is. So it is going to be Jack Chandler who's going to throw this. US still taking their time. And there is going to be a substitute here for US Portsmouth. Head of away there. Glenn Waits. One come to him. Will come to Pyle. He just hoots the ball up. Seemed to be a foul there. Nothing doing as the ball headed back in. Franklin was peeling off. And uh, head of on the halfway line by US Portsmouth. Bringing the ball down. Hazel brings the ball down. Two and a half to go. Hazel tackled superbly by Howell. And they're diving in there, US Portsmouth, and allowing Binfield to escape with the ball to Moles. Flicked on, and again Moore trying to get the ball. Ferdinand, little pass, this is good spell of possession here by Binfield. Right wing, two to go, deep cross, and keep it scabbard it, that's a great take. Yeah. Looked dangerous there, Jake, but a good take, my friend. Yeah, very, very strong goalkeeping there from uh, Tom Price in between the sticks. Really you know, composed and coming out to try and claim that and you know, if he hadn't done so it's, a, it's an easy header of a back post to, to, you know, to put Binfield 2-1 up but real good opportunity again for Binfield and I think United Services will be happy to take us as penalties <laughs> Cameron Clerk is imminent as the ball comes through towards Sergeant Franklin trying to get involved there but all he could do was nod the ball on this is going to just be hoof clear by the keeper the ball is going to bounce and the keeper there shouting and right on the edge of the penalty area. Yeah, his hand was out of the area, but the ball wasn't there, Jake. No, done very well. Done very well to keep it inside the box there, especially when he had a Binfield striker closing down on him and his own defenders getting in his way as well. So, yeah, strong goalkeeper again from Tom Price. He's, I think he's had a very good game today. Again, not the best clearance, but uh, Howe couldn't control it. Binfield on the ball in the middle. A minute to go of normal time, nervy times for both sides. Elliot Leg on this near side, the ball on the far side, deep cross, chance header over the bar, it's gone. That was Sean Moore, and uh, Wembley was flashing before yeah. his eyes, but the ball went over the bar. What an opportunity! It's another really, really big chance, but you know Binfield have squandered there. It's not the easiest of opportunities. Don't get me wrong, but. A great delivery on from that right hand side, the far side from where we see it. There's a free header in the box, he's lost his defender. I think he could have could have done better and took his time a little bit there, but again, Glenn Turnbull won't mind. Twenty because seconds the normal time, Jake. You imagine it's gonna be a good three or four. Probably, yeah. Uh, from a balance of play from what we've seen so far. Big, big request if uh, you can just quick click the bell on their uh, YouTube. Franklin will win the ball. United Services you need to keep the ball now down in that corner flag just that's just how long four. four four huge minutes this is huge ball thrown in header by US Portsmouth it's going to be a throw in to Binville well oh, throw in to US Portsmouth it's going to be tussling there's Glenn ball chipped forward Onside is Todd. Todd has got the ball. Todd has got the ball. Will he get there? He will, but the ball rolls out. And uh, unfortunately for US Portsmouth, Todd didn't have the legs. Cameron Quirk on the uh, bench. Son of US Portsmouth coach Frazier. Waiting. Will he get on? We have got four, three left off the four. Next goal wins. It's as simple as that, if there is one. Elliot Leg. Players making the move, leg, Binfield, feel they can score, can they get it? It's a great cross, there's space, good touch, can Binfield win it? It's a deep cross, hits the defender, and US Portsmouth just reacting up and out as Todd can't win the header, looked off there for me, he's offside, he's offside, saved by the keeper anyway, but Ollie Harris was offside there, Jake, and that's just whiling away a couple of seconds for US Portsmouth substitution yeah. and it is going to be Cameron Quirk that's coming on and uh, I believe that is um, Franklin yes Franklin has come off Cameron Quirk that's come on Jake yep. you imagine that's for the penalties that's for the penalties yeah I was going to say that's one eye on the shootout now 
think United Services will be happy to kind of waste as much time as they can now to try and get to that stage. They've, they're very capable of, of snatching another goal, there's no doubt about it, but from what we've seen in the last 20 minutes or so, Binfield have been you know, knocking on the door on so many opportunities. And Cullen Glenn stoops and wins the header. Two to go. Chandler. Down the line it goes. Takes a touch. And uh, ball's battling. Uh, so that's a high, high foot there by Jordan Pyle. Uh, didn't know how much there was in there, but Pyle's gone for the ball. And uh, that's a yellow card there. And yeah. I've got to say that the referee's obviously seen that. It's reckless, Jake. Yeah, I think so. And <laughs> Dubious. It's one of those full-blooded non-league challenges, but referee's seen something. And Ball goes all the way through and uh, that's gone for a goal kick and uh, Jake, a minute to go and reminder if this finishes level we go straight to penalties. And it really is anyone's game from that point onwards, you know, penalty shootouts. Both teams have won on penalties as yeah, I said earlier. Yeah, there's no kind of good or bad omen behind any team at this stage now it's just up to the players to put the ball in the back of the net and it's, it's a lottery it really is a lottery Binfield have uh, won three games on penalties in this uh, competition US Portsmouth have won one game on penalties in this competition we have played three minutes 25 seconds and it's a throw into US Portsmouth up the right end as far as they're concerned and we're just coming to the end of this game and uh, it is a US Portsmouth 1, Binfield 1. A big thank you for everyone that's uh, tuning in live on TV, TV Sport with Lee Roberts, Jake Smith, your commentary team. 10 seconds to go. Glenn tries to hold it. Quirk takes a touch and 5 seconds to go. In no go. seconds to go, penalty shootout, Jake. US Portsmouth have done all they can. Whatever happens, what a game of football that was. Wembley's on the line. US Portsmouth could have done no more. What a performance from both sides, putting on a real spectacle of non-league FA Fars action. Yeah, what a game! What a game it's been. Like, yeah, no, like you say, they couldn't have done any more than they did do. And I think United Services have done themselves really, really proud. Unfortunately, not to you know keep hold of the lead but after all of the efforts of Binfield and all of the attacks and the, the, yeah the goals off the post and you know the, the, keep, the saves have been made by the keeper the offside chances as well they had so many opportunities to to take that game and you can't help but feel that from their perspective even a draw is a harsh result but you know you know the United Services will take it now and they've got a great opportunity to continue their underdog story and, and, and reach Wembley I think Lee Roberts has just gone there. Uh, I think for a nervous toilet. <laughs> but we're going to wait for him to get back. Wow. Really is anyone's game now, isn't it? Hi, guys. This is Tony. Uh, I am TV TV Sport, pretty much. Uh, we'll keep the stream going until the penalties come in. Uh, in the meantime, while we've got the break, I'm going to try and use my pointy finger and somewhere down here you should see a YouTube icon. If you can just click that for me, subscribe, um, that's all I really want. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage and the excitable Lee Roberts has just rejoined us. She's trying to catch my breath there. Uh, <laughs> Jake, um, now chance for keepers to be a hero and yep. both keepers have had saves to make US Portsmouth they're going to feel disappointed they were leading but on a balance of play you can see Binfield very decent side yeah very good side and, you know we were saying just a moment ago about how I think even a draw from their perspective would seem a little bit harder they've had so many opportunities going forward they've hit the post on a number of occasions you know United Services have you know defended resiliently up until the point of which they conceded and I think even from you know, from Glenn Turnbull's perspective, I think he'll feel unfortunate not to have held on to that lead because they've done so well to, to keep hold of it for so long. But I, it was a real entertaining non-league game of football. And, and As I just said to, to Bobby yeah. Blake, um, it's a penalty, it's a lottery. 
Oh, it really is. It, it, it's anyone's game for the taking now. And, and what a way to settle the finalists on, on, on such, you know, such a big stage with such a carrot dangling above. And I can't only imagine what's going through the players' heads right now. Someone's about to get destroyed and someone's about to be a hero. Yes. Simple as. Someone's going to have the best day of their life. <laughs> and someone's about to have a very bad day. And we're or, not or, trying to be or, negative. Or, both sides have been yeah. superb. They've, they've, don't, they've both given it of their all, haven't they? They deserve to be at Wembley, both sides, but there can yeah. only be one winner. There can only be one winner. One winner. You know, both sides have had different game plans. I know you look at the stats and you look at the amount of opportunities that Binfield have had and you would probably look at that and say that they probably deserve to win the game, but I think on the balance of it, you look at both teams' game plans, you know, United Services had one of their own, that was to frustrate Binfield and to, and to try and limit them to the amount of opportunities that, you know, they had and, and hit them on the counter-attack and, and they done it to the extent... Both sides could have practised penalties for 24 hours straight. However, with Wembley at stake and this amount of pressure, yeah. you can practise for eight months, it still wouldn't make a difference. No. In the heat of the moment, it just comes down to, you know, your mental strength at the time so much on the shoulders of these players well it's going to be US Portsmouth to take first Andy Todd Chris Grayson goal Andy Todd steps up here US Portsmouth to go first and Todd scores yeah. good penalty there yep. send the keeper the wrong way that's a good penalty 1-0 nice calm penalty slotted into the bottom left corner like you say sent the goalkeeper the wrong way kept his cool kept his nerve it's just the start he wanted in a shootout Josh Howell stepping up the substitute came on in the 68th minute and now Tom Price trying to be the hero Josh Howell will step up and score straight down the middle great penalty there absolutely nothing that Price can do Price dive but pace and power straight down the middle good penno yeah another good penalty <laughs> you know keepers dive the wrong way again you know we speak about how much of a lottery this is you know, as a goalkeeper you can only guess what way they're going to go from a striking point of view hit it hard within the Tom goal of Jeffs course Tom now you, Tom yeah. Jeffs stepping up Chris Grace on his line Jeffs short run up it's missed no is that in or it went in went in yeah it went I think, in I think, I, think I, thought I, there was I, I think I think there's no celebration no one knows if that's gone in we don't know if that's gone in is it in it's it's in we think you think it is a goal that is crazy chance now ollie harris scores that one did go in it seemed to hit the stanchion jack that's one of the weirdest penalties i've ever seen yes yeah, it something i think has it hit, the, hit in, the, the inside the sanction yeah, yeah. The, the back of the net it, yeah. it's a goal yeah that is crazy that's as far one of the craziest know, penalties all. i've ever seen <laughs> it's two all i think it's people asking me behind me did he score? oh my word it's tom price that's going to take the keeper jake keeper's taken one oh. tom price is, is that not is that something we've seen before mm, no Tom Price will step up here up against his opposite number and Price scores good penalty good penalty for a goalkeeper he's taking a penalty as if he's a striker isn't he 3-2 another cool calm composed finish <laughs> advantage United Services it was obviously in uh, to be honest I, I didn't know you didn't know <laughs> Yeah, not a lot of people did. So here we go. It's now going to be Sean Moore now. Sean Moore will step up. And Sean Moore... Yeah. Save by the keeper! Yeah. Save by the keeper! Yeah. Save by Price! Advantage yeah. US Paul's to ah. take. Great save by Price! Yeah. Fantastic save. Tom Price could be the hero of this penalty shootout. Not only saving one, but scoring one as well. It won't be for winning penalty if it is. But... I think Cameron Quirk now... That was a great save. Not the best penalty in the world, but the keeper's got to be in the right position. You look at this now. Chance to make it 4-2. And that puts a lot of pressure on the Binfield striker. Got to, to score he's here. Got to, he has to, score. to keep the advantage here as Portsmouth. Quirk will take the penalty. And great oh. save. What a save. Brilliant save. Very high. Quirk has missed. 
game on again. What a save that was. Yeah, you know, we praised Tom Price. It was a good save from him, but that's an equally good save as well. He's dived the wrong way, and, and the Quirks put it, I think, centrally to the goal. But I think the goalkeeper's reacted really well. He's put up, he's stuck an arm out at the last second to to deny him, and yeah, it's a good save, and a game we're level. James McClurg, the assistant manager here. James McClurg, Quirk, getting arms around him. As he steps up, scores, great penalty. We'll level again, 4 all now, 4 all, Jake. 3 all. But three yeah, all, sorry, yeah. four penalties, yeah. they're three all, That's sorry. It. Still level, there's nothing to separate these two sides, are there? No. Nope. Nothing at all. Jack Chandler now, absolutely crucial. Nerves building again, I'm sure, for US Portsmouth. Fifth penalty, and it is going to be Jack Chandler. It's falling completely silent here at uh, the Victory Stadium. Jack Chandler now will step up. Will take the penalty and save. That's the poor penalty. And Binfield now on the third to Wembley. Score, and Binfield go to Wembley. That's the bottom line. Binfield one penalty from Wembley. And it is going to be Jack Broom who's going to step up. This is crucial, Jake. It is Tom Price against Jack Broom. There is only going to be one winner. Jack Broom steps up. Can he send... Binfield to Wembley. He scores and Binfield go to Wembley. The dream dies for US Portsmouth. The side from the Hellenic League are at Wembley. Congratulations, Binfield. For US Portsmouth, the dream is dead, Jake. Um, I, yeah, um, I don't really have any words. Congratulations to Binfield. Um, on the balance, the play deserve it, but US Portsmouth so close I, I'm heartbroken for them it is heartbroken you can see that on the faces and the body language of the players out there you know, lying on the ground in the centre circle put in such an effort not just in that 90 minutes but in the 7 or 8 games prior in the competition to get this far to reach this stage of the competition and to be denied by a penalty shootout it's the cruelest of ways to miss out on such a huge carrot Wembley dangling above so 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 cruel and they've deserved every success they've had in this competition yeah in the league this um, season and we, you know glenn turnbull yeah. and the players we, regardless of the result today they can hold their heads high well we're gonna head we're gonna head down um, yep. i don't know if you want to come with us Dave. yeah i'll be down there yeah I'll we're be down just there gonna go you. and try and grab some reaction um yeah i, I will say obviously from from both sides jake um for, for you as sportsmen I'm gutted for them because we've seen, haven't we? We're, we're both Portsmouth based and mm. we have seen the, the media coverage that they've got from the news from Express FM. I'm not being funny. Yeah. Half of these, the Pompey News team or Express FM probably wouldn't have heard of US Portsmouth. That's not being disrespectful. This has really put them on the map. It has. And, um, you know, they were getting a lot of media coverage and, you know, rightfully so and come so far and... Yeah, come so far and you know to get to this stage. Sorry, mate. It it, it is heartbreaking. I just feel but desperately sorry for them. Um, you as Portsmouth, they can hold their heads up high. We're just going to make our way down the main stage stand here at the Victory Stadium. So, uh, I just have absolutely no words for how um, US must feel um, going off. Um, we're obviously just trying to make our way down the stage. You can see. US Portsmouth, there are tears out there, Jake. There are players literally yep. in tears. Yeah, and you, you know, you, you expect that. So much at stake. You know, a lot of these players, local lads in, in, you know, in the city, dreamt of Wembley for so long. And, you know, the, the dream kept alive for so long in this competition, so close. But, but for a step six know, side to get this far is, is, is unprecedented. No one would yeah, have ever heard, have heard that. Yeah, and, and you know, like, like we say, you know, to get this far anyway is already such a fantastic achievement. And, and all of the all of the players out there, the management staff can really mm. you know, be proud of their efforts. It's really, really some um, scenes. We're just trying to obviously get some reaction um, out of respect. Um, myself and Jake, we're not going to grab any of the US players. I, I wouldn't do that. Um, we can just see that the US players coming off. Um, yeah, I just <laughs> it's a phenomenal effort from start to finish. Yeah. 
you can hear the, the shouts from the Benfield boys that so close um, for US Ports and Let's just try and get some um, reaction in a moment. We can see Glenn Turnbull um, just there, just just coming off. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, you just saw Glenn there. I just looked at him. He just shook his head. I, yeah, I have absolutely no words, um, Jake. Um, Glenn is coming over now. Glenn um, joins us. Glenn, um, I'm wishing tears for you, mate. I can't even look at the moment. Um, I'm not going to look at you because I'm in the same place. Yeah, um, you said, didn't you, you'd either be stood on the touchline in tears. Um, uh, stupid question, how, how are you feeling? I don't know how I should start this. Yeah, just gutted. Just absolutely gutted. I felt, you know, we rode out like you only got to watch the game. They had great chances, second half. They hit the bar, they hit the post. When they hit the post and they hit the bar, I said to Fraser and Barto, we've got our name, we're going to Wembley. This is uh, it's just too much luck, really. Um, and then when Pricey makes that first save, having to make the subs change my order. Um, but, yeah, it's what it is, isn't it? People are going to be saying how plucky you as Portsmouth is. doesn't really matter, does it? It's so close, but... but I've got lots of people at work training me not to swear at this moment. Yeah. Um, I ain't interested in people saying how plucky we are. I don't want people <laughs> messaging me saying, oh, unlucky, enjoy it, you know, you've done so well. In the day we've fallen at the last hurdle, so it means not a lot. It, obviously, once that's all settled down in years to come, the lads will think back and think, you know, yeah, they've apologised. They shouldn't apologise. We'd be doing this. We saw it last week, didn't we, against Fanway? Yeah. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, Glenn, exactly. and US Sportsman may never get this opportunity exactly. again. No. But you, you've lived a dream, but not quite come to the final dream. Just four grand's worth of kit for Wembley. What am I going to do with that? Anyone wants a maroon and blue stroke kit? Got one, <laughs> got one going. Um, but, uh, uh, what, what's your, your, like, kind of, how do you sum up how the, the players are feeling? We've like, obviously gutted, but what are you going to say to them when you go in? You know, we got another semi final next Saturday. Yeah. Um, so we got to pick ourselves up, go and win that now. Um, yeah, that's just, I don't know how the players are feeling. I, I feel for Cam, I feel for Jack. Um, you got to be big enough, brave enough to get in there and do that, and they've done that. Um, so, you know, let's say uh, one day they look back and just recognise what they've done, but right now it's going to be painful, I should imagine. Well, on behalf of myself, um, TB, uh, TB team, um, Glenn, just thank you. It's been a roller coaster journey, but thank you for letting us sort of join the journey later on. And I was like, 20 seconds off now. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Glenn. Um, yeah, I've got to say, Jake, that is probably one of the hardest interviews I've ever done. Um, I just have absolutely no words. You, you yeah. just can't sum up. Obviously, you've done a lot of interviews. It's slightly different when the professional they might get another opportunity. Pompey have had many opportunities at Wembley. Being honest, it's not going to come again for you as Portsmouth for a very long time, if, if ever. No. But, and that's you know, not being disrespectful, no, no. I don't mean to be. No, but, it, you know, the FA Vars is, is a competition for the sides, you know, in the lower depths of non-league, and, and very rarely do you see, you know, teams consecutively reach finals. I know, you know, Heber and today are, are in semi-final action. I don't know how they've got on. I know they were holders of a trophy five yeah. days ago, but, you know, for, for any team, and, you know, Glenn's a very honest man. He's very humble, and, you know, he said it in that interview there. There's no need for this Binfield side to apologise because it, because any Why team do they have anything no, to apologise any, any team would be doing exactly the same. They, they've completely deserved, you know, t- to be at Wembley. They, you know, the balance of the game, they were the better side. Um, but you know, from United Services' perspective, of which you just heard there, it is cruel. But yep. um, but look, that, that, that's football. And all of those players, all of the management staff, can really hold their heads really high because they've had a fantastic run of this competition. Fantastic run. We can see um, the guys just being interviewed from BBC um, Barcher. Um, for, for the Barcher based side, they must be absolutely delighted. Just want to see if we can grab anybody at all. Um, just try and grab some reaction. See if we can grab Chris Grace. Chris, can we have a quick word? Live. 
We are live, so please keep the language down. Chris Grace, hero. Um, you're off to Wembley. How, how does that feel? Oh, I mean, Get up, unbelievable. Get up, <laughs> That's what it means. I mean, as a kid, you always dream of playing at Wembley, and I mean, it's uh, the reality of it as it's set in, but yeah, but. I was just absolutely buzzing. I mean, there's so many great people around the club. I mean, the boys, the gaffers. I mean, what a day. I cannot wait for it. I cannot wait for it. 3,000 people watching the penalty shootout, Chris. You could have been a hero. What does it mean to the club? Not just the prize money, but fans that are likely to be allowed to go to the non-niche finals day. Binfield, little Binfield. Wembley. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, we're just a village club at the end of the day. I mean, they just come great coaches but it's people around the club like Rob Chalice Bob Bacon they deserve it I mean all the hours you don't see them putting in and I mean the days for them it's for them it's always the keepers it's going to be the hero but let's talk about US Portsmouth coming up against them today step six side yeah. you must feel for them because it could have easily been you guys yeah. if the goal hadn't gone in 10 minutes from goal from, from Liam yeah I mean they're so resilient I mean fair play to them they got their noses in front and they defended with their lives I mean that's how they beat Flatwell as well but luckily Ferdy never doubt him he'll always get a goal um, dreams come true don't they well we'll just try and grab the reaction thank you very much Chris we'll just try and get some um, more reaction from the joint manager James McClurg just see if um, we can grab James joys of uh, live broadcast we're just trying to grab James McClurg the um, joint manager kisses his goalkeeper Jake I imagine this is going to be a very happy man um, obviously live um, James so please do my language James sum up how you're feeling um, ecstatic absolutely I can, words can't describe how I feel about this group of players, special group of players, all of them, and Chris Grace has done the business again, the penalty takers held their nerve, but what the lads give, they're, ne they're never beaten, never beaten, this group is so special, and they deserve everything they got today, commiserations to you as Portsmouth, who are a great bunch, and played a fantastic game, but <clears throat> at the end of the day, someone's got to win, and I'm so happy we have. Um, James, it's all been done away from Binford, every game yeah. you've been on the road, yeah. even the semi-final of all that was done in France, you were drawn away that's yeah. incredible I don't think I've ever seen it before and another away day this one you won't mind though at the Arch no no won't, won't mind going away to Wembley and hopefully having some fans there but <coughs> look we, we, we love each other we love each other's uh, company so getting on a coach for a, a few hours is it just helps us helps us every week and I couldn't be prouder of every, every one of them absolute absolute smashing bunch of lads and, and what's it going to mean to you yourself and the other joint manager to, to lead the team out of Wembley it, it will truly be an honour for me and Cole to walk out with this group of people behind us and that's everyone uh, Chairman Bob Bacon and Rob Chalice the secretary we we love and all the six o'clock in the morning phone calls me everything Liam and Carl and Roger and Jeff Warner who can't be with us at the moment but all of that it means the world I just want to say the choice of non-league football just behind you I don't know if you can see the US Portsmouth skipper John Jeffs has just come over to congratulate your boys yeah. that just shows the class that US Portsmouth have yeah yeah and I, I just spoke to him I mean everyone's obviously run off to Chris and Jack for um, scoring the winning penalty but yeah me I, I walked straight over to him found him on the pitch because they, they were a top group of lads they played a, a brilliant game of football they um, they were competitive and they knew how to win games as you've seen but this this group is just special and I know that this they're never beaten I, I've lost for words now you can hear me throat from shouting for 95 minutes but yeah I couldn't be happier couldn't be happier Congratulations. Enjoy Wembley. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Uh, well, we'll leave it there for the live coverage. Um, Jake, uh, I, it's hard, isn't it? Obviously, we have to kind of get both sides' reaction, but we're both Portsmouth boys. And for Binfield, they're off to Wembley. US Portsmouth, it's Bimington, Heath, Harlequins in the semi-final. Doesn't have the quite the same ring as Wembley. No disrespect no. to the Harlequins, but what a journey it's been for us it doesn't really mean much in the grand scheme of things does it because they're not going but i don't really know what else to say no, but we, you know we keep saying we keep talking about the run that they've had they you know defeated six teams of you know the divisions above in this in this run so far and they've come and, and fallen at the final hurdle I mean, they couldn't have done a lot more today to, to you know to, to get to wembley they're really unfortunate i think to you know not to get the win over the line although binfield 
were knocking on the door for the last parts of that game. They were deserving of their lead, but yeah. from from the mental aspect, United Services were in that game from minute one to ninety, and it, it, it is heartbreak for them. Um, but again, heads will be held very very high tonight. And well, for myself, uh, Jake, all of the team, uh, for Team BTB, it's been a hell of a run. But for US Portsmouth, it's over.